Hello guys and welcome to my channel. I'm Mohsen and you are watching to MKR video. In this video we will talk about the fragments. Uh, first of all let me introduce the fragments to you. Uh, here I'm using the Google Map application as the example. Uh, here this is the main activity of the Google Map application and here we have a map and this map is a fragment and statically it's set on the uh, google map application that means whenever we are opening the application uh, you will see this fragment and here is another fragment this and we call it bottom sheet fragment and as another example, I can show you here the alarm of the phone and by pressing this plus, this fragment will be open, which is a time picker and we can set alarm here. Uh, both of them are static and that means when we are opening the application statically, uh, this fragment will be open on top of the main activity. And uh, the second way that we can use the fragments is the, the dynamic way, uh, which we can have buttons and by pressing them, the second fragment will be open. And by pressing the first button, the first fragment will be open. Uh, what is a fragment? And uh, that's, uh, let's say, layer on top of the normal layer of the application each activity can contain uh, multiple fragments and uh, we are using fragment to have like smaller application and faster application and uh, if we use uh, like activities instead of fragments we will have the huge application and uh, it will work so slow and uh, another thing that i have to mention here is that the uh, life cycle of the fragments is uh, like uh, directly connected to the activity that is hosting the fragment uh, if you don't know how to check and if you don't know what is the life cycle of an activity you can click on this link and watch video about it and later i will talk more about the life cycle of the fragments first of all let's build this application together and set both way uh, the dynamic and aesthetic uh, to use the fragments and later in the next videos i will show you uh, how to uh, use the widget on the fragments and also we will talk about the life cycle of the fragment okay let's do it together for this uh, in the main activity i need two buttons if you don't know how to use button you can click on this link and watch a video about the buttons i'm going to connect the second button to the first button then i'm going to press ctrl and select both of them right click chain horizontal chain and here that's good the first one can be btn1 the single factor and the text can be first fragment and the second button can be btn second 
Und second trigger. In the example, uh, as you see, I use this uh, text view to show that uh, we are in the main activity and you see here we have it and by pressing the buttons it will be invisible when we are opening the uh, fragments so I'm going to keep it as txt1 and I'm going to change this to main activity and uh, just the text size of it can be 30 sp to make it bigger and visible or maybe 30 sp that's good then here we need a container to hold our uh, fragment, the view of our fragment. So here I can use the frame layout. And the frame layout can be F L fragment. I think that's okay for the main activity. Uh, now let's create our fragment. In the project view, in this uh, package, I'm going to right click, new, fragment, blank fragment. And I'm going to name it first fragment and uh, by the layout fragment first. I'm going to press finish and now new fragment another fragment and it will be the second and finish we have a bunch of codes here that we don't need them I'm going to delete them And we can keep this on create view only. Uh, this uh, overrided function on create view is setting the view of the fragment on it, and uh, which is the layout of this fragment, the fragment second, and. Uh, we are using this function here in this uh, video only to set uh, this uh, layout uh, onto our fragment. We can use an easier way. Just copy this and paste it here. And now I don't need this as well. So I can either uh, comment it or delete it i'm going to comment it because i will uh, push the code to my github uh, for the future reference and you can see uh, both ways here and uh, into the uh, first fragment Again the same, I'm going to delete the extra codes uh, I can leave it like that and you will see uh, both ways are working This way and this way So in the First fragments we have a text view and uh, but the layout of the uh, first fragment 
both fragments is frame layout so we don't need it and we will change it to constraint layout and I don't need this line I will delete it and uh, the text should be first fragment and uh, the width and the height can be wrap content and okay that's cool and let's go to the second fragment and do the same i don't need this and the frame layout can be constraint layout Wrap content, wrap content, and second fragment. And here we have it into the center. Okay, uh, just a bit increasing the size of the text. DSPs I'm going to copy it and here into the first fragment paste it and this is the same as the second one okay now everything is uh, ready to set one of the fragments as uh, the static fragment on our main activity. For this, first of all, we have to create an instance of the fragment. First fragment equals to first fragment and that's it then support fragment manager dot begin transaction dot apply and here we should replace the view R dot id dot fl fragment which is the frame layout that we uh, put in our main activity here and we are changing the view of it with first right then we have to write commit and now let's check it on the emulator okay the main activity takes you on first fragment are now layover on top of each other and when i'm pressing the buttons nothing happens and that means that statically the first fragment is set on our main activity and here <coughs> i can write value xt1 equals to find view by id text view or dot id dot xt1 and here txt1 dot visibility equals to
invisible and I'm going to press alt and enter now let's check it again on the emulator okay we have the first fragment set on main activity now uh, we have two buttons let's write and btn1 equals to point view by id button or dot id dot btn1 and i'm going to press Control D to duplicate this line and write the second one. Okay, now I'm going to set function set and click listener for both buttons. Okay, I can copy this and paste it here. And just I need to write here second fragment. It's not happy because here we need to create an instance of the second fragment as well now it's happy let's check it on the emulator okay first one and the second one And now I'm going to delete this. Click it again. Now we have the text view that shows uh, we have no fragments set on our activity. This is our main activity. This is the second fragment and this is the first fragment. And uh, that was everything about uh, the fragment till now and in the next videos I will show you how to implement some widgets like button and text view on the fragment and how to use them. If you find this video interesting please remember to share it with your friends and give me a thumbs up and if you have any question please write down in the comment box below and I will be so happy to answer to your questions. Remember to subscribe the channel for new videos. Have a good time. See you in next videos. Bye bye.